good Sunday morning. I thought it's high time to show you my desk setup, which I'm pretty pleased about right now, but I'm sure with your input, I could make it even better. So this is probably the most important aspect of this desk setup is that I sit with my uh, headphones talking to this microphone for a large part of the day and it's a fantastic setup. This, this lead is quite long. It actually allows me to sort of get up and walk around. The sound quality is perfect. I can even press this button and I get like a, like a loop back so I can hear what I sound like. This has been a phenomenal setup. And of course, I sometimes, I also just like it just for listening to music. It just sounds great to me. And this boom pole is, is quality. It doesn't make a creaking noise when you move it around. And then when I'm having it, I have the sort of microphone a little bit off to the side. I have my, my headphones on. And then I'm pretty much staring at this camera uh, a, a huge portion of the time because this is my Zoom camera, effectively. I, I have that light on, importantly, during Zoom calls. And that illuminates my face. And then this camera captures me pretty well. And this is where I keep my Zoom window. So I can see all the participants on my Zoom calls or my whatever calls. They're, they're here. I see their faces here. And uh, all the, and then I have the ability to basically work on this beautiful LG screen here. You might be wondering about that monitor. That monitor behind there is just for monitoring my GH5, which is usually sat there. Now it's here so that I can demonstrate things for you better. LG 27 inch, I am really enjoying it. It's on this ergo stand and that effectively allows me to have all the space back actually. So I'm enjoying this space, but unfortunately it just it gets cluttered all, all the time. And usually I slide my, my USB-C docked T14S, slide it back, have a bit of space here, maybe I move my keyboard up. So my ThinkPad here, my work MacBook here, Arch Linux, crappy Mac OS. The monitor looks better when it's attached to the Mac. You know, what can you do about that? I just don't have time to figure it out. So my tact was, when it comes to my Arch Linux machine, was just to stick to the familiar dimensions that I'm used to, 180p, and this Dell screen came along, and I think it's an absolute perfect fit because it's got the dock, it's got the network port behind it. It's much bigger, 180p, so I can see things more. It's great. I love it. Of course, it's off to the side. It's always a bit strange to actually, I'm, I'm like, I'm basically like over here, like doing work. And that's, that's a bit weird at times. And it even gets weirder than that because, okay, I'm running barrier here. That allows me to move my mouse cursor around between Arch Linux and uh, my Mac. Of course, I've got shared clipboard, but it's limited. You don't have like shared image clipboard, unfortunately. The more the, the, the whole clipboard actually just becomes a bit of a mess because you know, you know on Mac, you have to like select text and then you go, you know, Apple, Apple, Apple C to make a, make a selection, right? On, on Arch Linux, and my current terminal, like uh, to copy, I just select some text. I'm always getting confused between this Apple C, Apple V world here and this sort of copy on selection, uh, control V type world that I'm on over here. It's just a bit confusing. I'm always just tripping up myself uh, because it's not just quite the same. Um, you know, like there's no D menu on this. Uh, you know, c making a screenshot isn't as easy as one button. Making a make, making a video is a uh, screencast, and this is like the most awkward combination of like Apple Shift Five Space, and then you have to choose your display. It's just so awkward on Mac. It's really oh my gosh, I don't like these Macs. I, I also f find that like this Mac, even though it's a MacBook Pro for the M1, it's just slow compared to Arch Linux. I I don't know. 
Maybe it's ext4, but the file system, the whole feeling on the terminal on Arch compared to a Mac, it's just so much better. It's so much better. Never mind how slow Brew is compared to Pac-Man and all the rest of it, but like, ah, I love, I just, just, yeah, I just love having Arch Linux on the mix here compared to just using the Mac all the time. So the Mac is like that work thing, you know, I'm filling in my freaking timesheets and uh, looking at my calendar and, uh, and documentation. And Arch is where I, I do my like concentrating work work type stuff. I mainly use this Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed and I really appreciate the fact that it, it tracks a lot better than any mouse that I've come across. It just seems just, you know, just, you, you can adjust the sensitivity, but I just, I just love how, how fine control it feels. The MX keys, I'm a bit, um, it's better than the Apple keyboard, I give you that, but I'm a little bit um, on the fence about it because sometimes my fingers ache a bit. Uh, so what do I do about that? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna probably try another keyboard from a friend. Maybe the, maybe the low profile doesn't agree with me. I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with my height adjust. Oh yeah, the standing desk. Yeah, the IKEA standing desk. Um, to be honest, I see it as a as a destination. Like I'm in this room a, a whole lot of the time, and I guess the one good thing about this is that when I have this, when I have it up, it feels like. I know it sounds stupid, but it feels like I'm in a different place than when it was when it was down. <laughs> it's just like a destination to me. For me, I don't really understand the benefits of standing up and working. It just feels like I'm just working at a different place. And since I'm stuck at home, like most people, I do value that. Uh, but yeah, like what, I guess my, my, what do you call it? My posture here is so that my, I, sh I should, this should be down, further down, right? I mean, I'm, I'm productive on this keyboard. I'm, I'm getting like, uh, if I'm doing a test, I think I get like 70 words per minute or something like this. Um, okay, there are some issues with this keyboard. I haven't figured out how to make some, some of these things bound. Like I couldn't figure out how to bound that single click there. I can bind it perhaps with a function in that because the function is F17. I can bind the F17, but I haven't been able to bind these individual ones as much as I would like to. I love how heavy this keyboard is, it's nice. I'm always a bit worried about my USB-C, my, uh, my phone charger's there, USB-C here. It's a bit of a wobbly thing, but it's kind of working right now. When I'm doing screencasts on my ThinkPad on Arch, my microphone tends to, to become this thing. Got my I got my LG warranty papers. I haven't I still haven't figured out. I got my plug bank thing, a Schneider one, quite nice. I got my notebook. The notebook usually kind of sits here actually. Notebook and pen. Uh, my LG setup. Of course, it's on this really nice stand. I can move it around a bit if I wanted to. Some flexibility there. The light that I have shining in my face when I'm on calls. The monitor I use to monitor. This is where my GH5 usually sits. Where the Macs I'm working with sit. Dongle life, you know, you know how it is. But most things come on, on that one cable, of course. And uh, there's, a, there's my beautiful microphone. And there's the, uh, there's a dock I'm not using anymore. And a whole bunch of other crap. So any advice how to make this better? I'm all ears. I'm all ears. I've given up trying to make Arch work with a, with a bigger screen. It's just so much easier on Mac. 180p sucks less on Arch, I feel. Yeah, that's my setup. It's glorious. Like, this is the most productive setup I've ever had. It's just great. Zoom calls there, whatever documentation there, work there. It's awesome. See you guys.